If you're thinking about starting your journey into cybersecurity, there's never been a better time to learn. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through exactly how I would learn cybersecurity if I was starting from scratch in 2025. Hey everyone, I'm Luke, a career coach and recruiter with over 13 years of experience. If you find the content helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone looking to break into cybersecurity. Let's get straight to it. Step one, CompTIA Network Plus. Now, first up, I would look at getting the CompTIA Network Plus certification. Now, you might be wondering why I start with networking. Here's the deal. Networks are the foundation of everything in IT. As a cybersecurity professional, you need to understand how data moves from point A to point B. When you grasp the ins and outs of networking, like protocols, routing, and how devices talk to each other, you're building a solid foundation that will help you understand how attacks happen, and more importantly, how to stop them. For instance, imagine a scenario where a hacker is attempting to exploit vulnerabilities in a company's network. Well, without understanding how firewalls, IP addresses, or subnetting work, it's almost impossible to pinpoint how the attack is happening or where to strengthen defenses. Networking knowledge gives you the ability to anticipate potential risks and troubleshoot issues quickly, which is invaluable in cybersecurity. Additionally, Many cybersecurity tools and technologies like intrusion detection systems and networking monitoring tools require a very deep understanding of networking concepts to use effectively. Networking is the bedrock of cybersecurity. Without this knowledge, you're navigating blind. So I would definitely recommend looking at this first. Now moving on to step two, the CompTIA Security Plus. Once you have a good handle on networking, the next logical step is CompTIA Security Plus. This certification is like your gateway into the world of cybersecurity. It covers a little bit of everything. It covers threat analysis, it covers incident response, identity management, and much, much more. It's designed to give you a broad overview of what cybersecurity looks like in real life scenarios. This certification isn't just about learning to detect threats, it's about understanding why these threats happen, what hackers are after, and how you can build a resilient defense. Plus, having Security Plus under your belt tells employers that you know the essentials. It's often considered the baseline for entry-level positions. So by combining the Network Plus and the Security Plus, you're in a fantastic position and set yourself up extremely well for a career in cybersecurity. Step three, choose your path. Now that you've the basics down, it's time to choose your path. This is where cybersecurity starts to get really exciting because you can tailor your journey to your interests. Are you fascinated by finding vulnerabilities? Then ethical hacking might be for you. Maybe you want to secure companies as they migrate to the cloud. And I've got to tell you, cloud security is one of the most in-demand areas right now. Or maybe digital forensics, analyzing what happened after an incident sparks your interest. Well, each path has its own unique challenges and opportunities. So think about what excites you the most. If you're leaning towards cloud security, I'd recommend looking at certifications like the AWS Certified Security Specialty or the CCSP. Now I've actually done a video that talks through these two certifications in more detail and I'll leave it in the link below. Both these certifications are highly respected and can open doors to working with big companies that are transitioning to the cloud. Step four, start networking. This next step is so critical, yet it's often overlooked networking with people. While you're working through these certifications, start building connections in the industry. It's not just what you know, it's often who you know that opens doors. Join forums, participate in Reddit threads about cybersecurity and engage on platforms like X and LinkedIn. These communities are full of people who are on the same journey as you are or already working in the industry. You'd be amazed at the opportunities that arise from putting yourself out there. One single conversation on LinkedIn or X could lead to a mentorship, a job offer, or just a valuable piece of advice that helps you in an interview. I can't stress this enough about networking. It is something that I work really hard and it's something that I'm always looking to network more. It's opened doors up so many times in my career and I really recommend you do this. Step five, gain practical experience through internship. This is where everything you've learned starts to make sense. Cybersecurity is a highly practical field and no amount of theoretical knowledge can fully prepare you for the dynamic challenges you'll face in the real world. Internships, whether they're paid or unpaid, give you a peek behind the curtain. You'll gain insights into how cybersecurity teams function. You'll find out the tools they use and the types of challenges that they tackle on a daily basis. This hands-on experience will help you connect the dots between what you've learned in your certifications and how these concepts are applied in a professional work setting. The truth is employees value practical experience just as much as certifications. In fact, you could argue more. But internships not only help you build your technical skills, but also demonstrate to employers that you're proactive and you're willing to learn. So while you're learning, start applying for internships, whether it's with a big company, a small firm, or even a startup. 
you need help with this, reach out to me. I'm happy to advise where possible. Even if you think you're not ready, just put yourself out there. You'll be surprised by how much you learn simply by immersing yourself in the work. And remember, internships are as much about growth as they are about contributing. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to be willing to learn and adapt. Now, before I move on, some of you may have thought about boot camps, and this is definitely a possible option, but I'm not going to go into it in today's video. I'm going to do a separate video where I discuss all about boot camps, the pros and cons for them, and potentially some options for you to look at. So stay tuned for that. So by the time you've completed these certifications, you've built some real connections and you've gotten your hands dirty in an internship. You'll be in excellent position to land your first role in cybersecurity. This journey isn't about running through, it's about building up your skills step by step and growing your confidence. So if you're ready to start protecting what matters and embark on an exciting career, this is the roadmap I'd follow if I was starting from scratch in 2025. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with someone else who's looking to break into cybersecurity. If you're interested in career coaching, please do reach out and let's make 2025 the year you launch your career and help make the digital world a safer place. Thanks for watching and see you next time.